Uh, we showed it to you briefly earlier in the show, but we want to show you the scope of just how big the demonstration was, the peaceful demonstration in downtown Sioux Falls earlier today. Today's March. This is going to be some uh, drone video, excuse me, aerial footage video coming from Reisterfer Design. Just how many people that were there. We had a lot of people there. There were uh, no instances of violence. It was entirely peaceful here. There were speakers, there was passion, there were signs, uh, there were t-shirts, a lot of people, a lot of different colors and creeds, all gathering there, walking in Sioux Falls with law enforcement. It was a peaceful demonstration. It looked like the day would remain peaceful. And then later on, we did start hearing reports of isolated uh, acts of violence towards law enforcement at the Empire Mall, and that's why we've been focusing so hard on everything happening there. So we continue to monitor everything that's happening today, uh, everything that we've seen. We are preparing right now a live interview uh, with a gentleman who's been heavily involved in the Sioux Falls community, an entrepreneur named Vani Harari, just came down. I sent him a message. Vani, thank you so much for coming and chatting with us now. You spoke today, is that right? I did, yes. Okay. Um, talk to me about everything that's happened today. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tale of two events, essentially, or a tale of two situations. Um, we had the, the protest that was planned uh, earlier today, which, which went very well. Um, uh, myself and the organizers had an opportunity to um, not only discuss things with the SFPD before the event to make sure that the streets were lined, that there was an approved route, that there was other things that were followed to ensure people's safety and make sure that it went well. Um, prior to that event, we also had a conversation uh, with the chief sheriff and, and the mayor where we had an opportunity to talk about things and really talk about what's going to happen after this and how we actually start to make sure that our community is best in class and how we approach these things so we don't have any things like this in our community. We go on to the event. We have an amazing event with many people out there. Uh, uh, many of which wearing masks, still respecting that piece of it. We had a lot of people out there sharing a lot of energy and passion that was uh, uh, healthy, um, that was beautiful to see, honestly. And I think for a lot of people, and particularly people of color, we felt a lot of pride seeing that. And then obviously, once that dissipated, people went on, and, and, and then there was another thing that happened. And, uh, and, and we kind of see the results of that uh, in terms of what's happening at the mall. And, the there's, aftermath of that. There's so many emotions going through so many of us. How do you think it's best to handle emotions that might be conflicting, might be confusing, might be tough to talk about? How yeah. do we put thoughts and emotions that are less concrete into words and conversations and actions? It's difficult to do, but in the case of this, for instance, what people are feeling tonight, right? It might feel a little bit. Uh, confusing, but to be perfectly honest, it, it, it shouldn't because we can see with our own eyes what transpired, and we can see that the intentions that were meant um, based on the event that happened earlier were not ones that were being acted out later. And that's something that we all got to take ownership of. Every time something happens, we always acknowledge that that's not most people. Right. When police do something, we say that's not most police. When uh, uh, rioters start to riot, we say that that's not the protesters. We know that the problem is on the margins, but not really because we don't treat it that way. Because if we don't come together in these things, if we don't actually acknowledge that it's not you doing it, it's not me doing it and we're on the same page. We can deal with that because those people are the minority if what we say is true. And so what we have to make sure that we focus on is remaining together and really working towards actual solutions. And we do that by being vulnerable, by being honest, by telling the truth and giving each other grace and space so that we can grow. When we all get up tomorrow morning and begin to try to process what was uh, an unforgettable Sunday for Sioux Falls, what are some concrete steps anyone can take to make things better? I mean, what, what we have to know is we got to start to do, have, uh, do real work, right? We have to start to have real conversations. And one of the things that we have to understand is, is that we're no longer this sleepy town in the middle of nowhere that nobody's thinking about. This is a real thing where we're starting to have people um, uh, that don't look all like uh, uh, each other, that don't all think like each other. And so it takes us doing the work right now to make sure we develop real relationships and real processes and real ways to relieve pressure and make sure these things don't happen. 
And th what we need to know is, is that it takes real relationship. We can't hide behind the veil of Midwest nice anymore. We actually have to put our money where our mouth is, so to speak, knowing that in our schools and all of the signs that we see know that we're going to be extremely more diverse going into the future. And so uh, that means uh, accountability. That means representation. If you look at almost every layer of leadership at every single piece of our our, our community. There's almost no minority leadership in any of it. And then we have to really talk about how we work through these issues. What happens when we're frustrated with each other? Can we still come to the table and have a legitimate conversation? And we can start that all tomorrow. And I'm excited to. Local entrepreneur, you hold many roles, Vani, and I'm so grateful tonight you were a guest and coming in. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. We're